Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bridge the Gap DFS channel here on YouTube. Wanted to uh, go over another really cool resource for you guys. Um, it's a free resource and it's one that I use uh, not on a daily basis, but definitely on a, on a weekly basis. And that is a site called statmuse.com. Uh, it's really cool because you can um, ask it specific questions. So this last weekend I was uh, considering, in my season long fantasy football league, um, I had to decide between Chris Hogan and Jack Doyle in my flex spot. So uh, one of the things that you can uh, research is taking a look at some of their previous game logs. So I was like DK DraftKings, because that's similar to the league uh, that I use. Um, but this is one that I've searched in the past um, when I was looking up LeBron in the finals. So we'll just run it. And it shows you how LeBron performed in the finals last year. These were the DraftKings points that he scored. And then it lists out all of the stats below. So this is the prompt right here. So we'll just say, let's just say Kirk. Cousins, DK points last year per game game log and there you go let's go back to my Chris Hogan so this is what I'm looking at so I'm trying to take a look at okay well what's his ceiling so all right Chris Hogan last year so it looks like he's got a floor of 2.9 points a ceiling of 22.8. Let's take a look at this year. So floor is a little bit lower, ceiling's a little bit lower. Uh, we'll go back and take a look at Jack Doyle. Jack Doyle hasn't played that much this year, but he's been pretty productive in the three games he's played so far. And I looked at last year. He had an awesome game here, you know, has a much higher ceiling than Hogan, but this was also with Jacoby Brissett because Luck didn't play. So you can also type in 2016 and take a look. And we have similar floor, similar ceiling. So they're pretty much an equal play. I actually went with Hogan and Doyle had the much better game and I lost my matchup by less than a point. So um, even with the right statistics, the right data, you don't always make the right decisions. Um, they do it for baseball. I'm pretty sure they have it for hockey. We'll just run a couple. Do my trout. I'll do Sidney Crosby. And let's go back. We'll do Blake Bortles, FD points. So you can do DK for DraftKings, FD for FanDuel. So really cool site. Um, it can do a lot more than I use it for, but if you're looking for information or let's say, you know, you're researching a, um, you know, you're working on your cash game lineup or you have to decide between, hey, Russell Westbrook, All right, how's Russ doing this year? Looks like he's in the 40s, hasn't hit 60 yet. And you got to decide between Russ and LeBron James on a given slate. This would indicate all things being equal. Equal price similarly, LeBron's probably the better play. Um, doesn't list their salary, so you can't really see how they performed relative to their salary but it can show you a lot of data about how they're performing. I believe you can do it per opponent also. So we'll just do LeBron James versus Heat. And he has not played the Heat this year, so let's do last year. Let's see. Maybe, oh, whoops, versus Heat. So if you're looking specifically for a matchup, you can go ahead and take a look at it here. So uh, we'll just do one from today and then we'll wrap up. So let's look at a, a matchup from tonight's NBA. And we've got 
Okay, so the 76ers are playing the Raptors. So we'll just do, hey, is, is Ben Simmons a good play tonight? So it looks like he's been somewhat average against the Raptors, and that could be because of their great guard play with Lowry and DeRozan. DeRozan is no longer uh, with the Raptors, but that great guard play should continue with uh, Kawhi Leonard being a better defender than DeRozan. Uh, but speaking of Kawhi Leonard, uh, he's switching conferences. So let's see um, how he did versus 76ers and see if we can gauge how... Uh, how he's done. So Kawhi was um, Kawhi Leonard versus 76ers. And Kawhi missed a lot of time, so let's see if we can take a look at how he did against them in 2016. No. Well, it wouldn't really matter anyway, uh, considering the um, 76ers were pretty bad two years ago. Um, but yeah, this is what you would use the site for. It's it's really cool for side-by-side uh, -side comparisons between two players. And if you have any tough roster decisions in your season-long leagues or you're looking at you know your foundational pace, uh, pieces for the evening, it's a great resource. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Send me an email if you have any questions or any video content ideas. So you can hit me up on Twitter, at SwimJ. SwimJG. Talk to you guys soon.